Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel for another NECA Gremlins review. This is the ultimate Gremlin, not the Stripe, not Gizmo, just a regular drone, shall we say. Uh, you know, a worker bee. Uh, this is just one of the regular Gremlins. Uh, you know, this is the one you'd want to buy multiples of and build an army of Gremlins, um, ideally. But that's going to cost you. So I'm going to, this is my first, you know, regular gremlin i'm gonna try and pick up one more at some point ideally you'd need about maybe four of these guys just to uh, create a really cool scene because of all the posability and all the different accessories that they all come with uh, stripe came with his own cool stuff gizmo comes with his own cool stuff so you could mix and match parts and uh, well accessories and really create a cool scene so this is the final necker gremlins review for the next well for a little while we've done stripe we've done gizmo now let's do mr regular gremlin all right nothing's looking too warped all my accessories are present and correct uh his right ear looks a little bit curved in at the bottom but i can fix that and that's not too much of a big deal anyway there he is you know kind of move around the place but you get some playing cards a doodah bar brad bites uh, popcorn bags for his ears 3D glasses, a big pint of beer, and a nice tall frosty coke, and a partially burnt down cigarette, and Mr. Gremlin himself. And my eyes seem fine on this one. Teeth seem to be painted nicely, but let's get him out and have some fun. Review this thing. All right, now here he is out of the box, and he has a really kind of weird sneer. Um, it might just be this one. I don't know if they're all like this, but when his mouth is closed, it's like more teeth are showing on this side than they are on this side when it's closed, which is creating a kind of unique look for this one, which I kind of like. It's like he's sneering at you or about to, or like a kind of giggling kind of thing. But yeah, the teeth are more, way more visible on this side when the mouth is shut than they are on this one. I like, that's going to be cool for photography as well, because from this side, he looks like that. But from this side, he looks a little bit more calm. I don't know. But either way, that's a pretty cool little touch there. I'd be curious if I do get a second one to see. Is that the case on all of them? But so far, so very good. I have just noticed some weird paint defect on his left knee there. You can see around the knee area, there's some weird kind of splodge. Uh, I could probably fix that if I need to. Just get some black and brown paint, mix it together, get some green, some yellow. Do what I need to do. You shouldn't have to, but, you know, for the price point, I forgive it. And, uh, you know, they could get away with a lot with me because they just make so much cool stuff. I mean, they made the Golden Girls, man. Seriously, put that in perspective for a minute. The Golden Girls. <laughs> so cool. Um, yeah, man, the Gremlin looks damn good. He looks real good. He's real scaly. Uh, you can actually remove, uh, it's like this with the striped gremlin and probably gizmo as well, but you usually with these ultimate figures can lift out the inlay card and kind of use it as a background for photography. But, you know, it's it's not very wide, so, you know, you'd probably be able to get a fair bit done, but, yeah. There he is with all his accessories. I just put the striped box behind him there on the other side just to kind of even things out, just trying to get myself a good thumbnail. That looks awesome. Comes with a fair amount of stuff. Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. I hope you enjoyed the individual reviews on each one of these figures here. Uh, excluding Deadpool, of course, he's just here to keep an eye on things, make sure these guys keep it respectable. But this will be a pose session, just photography and some footage. Just wanted to see uh, what I can come up with with these guys. Just use some cool accessories that they came with and a few other little accessories like this trolley uh, that I've got lying around. So I'm going to have some fun and see what I can come up with. So I hope you enjoy it and leave me your thoughts in the comments section. I hope you enjoy it. See you later. Bye bye. But all of his accessories work really well. You can see the 3D glasses sit very comfortably on his head there. The, uh, what is that, a chocolate bar, the doodah bar, that's uh, being held in that hand really nicely. You can pretty much get it right up to his mouth. And the Brad Bites being held in the other hand. 
holding them very well too. It's just a really nice looking figure, man. They all are so far. And I love seeing the uh, artwork in the background as well. It's just all the colors. It's just very 80s and really sets this piece off as far as looking at it through the camera lens right here. Just having a great time filming them. Talking about them. And poor old Gizmo. He's, uh, you know, he knows what they're up to, so he's not too happy, bless him. It's all right, Gizzy. Little Gizmo. Where do I get copyright for that? Probably. <laughs> but yeah, I'm loving this, man. This is an awesome piece. Just go ahead and take off his glasses. Reveal those crazy eyes of his. And the articulated jaw. It's all good. Movable ears. Shoulder joint, elbow joint, wrist joint. Ridiculous, man. All kinds of stuff you can come up with. I'm going to have a nice big photo session with all of these guys together. Have some fun posing them. Just let you enjoy that. That'll be coming up pretty damn soon. Probably just after this review goes up. Thereabouts. He is awesome. And I'm just using a gun that I believe actually came with a 1-6 scale Travis Bickle taxi driver figure. So not really in scale, but he holds it so well, uh, Mr. Stripe here. And I have also um, done the hairspray thing to his hair now, just to get it to stay up and stay like a nice spiky mohawk. And it's actually really firm now when you touch it, so I'll just leave that alone. But he's got um, the cigarette as well clamped in his jaw. And it's just all these little accessories really bring them to life, and they're already really kind of incredibly detailed and real looking when accurate to the movie I mean but once you start playing around with these accessories they really do start to take on all the little character traits that you know from the movies and the uh, the detail in this drink here with the ice that's amazing it's so real looking so yeah, he's holding on to that gun taking care of business the trigger broke off that gun long ago, so he's able to put his finger all the way through it. So that's pretty sweet. But yeah, I'll probably long term on display as far as when they're on the shelves, which I'm looking forward to showing you. I'm going to have to rearrange some stuff on the shelves because I want to have a little gremlin section. And I've just about got enough stuff now where I can do that. Awesome, awesome piece. Look at his face. Look at that. Look at the slimy detail. Look at his teeth. Did a great job on the teeth. Great job on the eyes. Paint around the ears. Everything. Look at that. Look how clean and nice that looks. That elbow joint is barely even visible. So is the wrist joint. That's basically invisible too. I've got a bit of mess on his knee there like I showed you before. But I can fix that. That's easy. Totally forgive it. I understand. There's a moment in the original Gremlins where Billy's mum comes past the kitchen door and the Gremlin hears her. But he's too busy eating. It's like a, about a little bit into the movie where the film starts revealing the Gremlins in their full glory. And yeah, he's just eating something in the kitchen. He doesn't bother to turn all the way around because he really wants to eat that food. But he does uh, stop for a moment and his brow sort of furrows and his ears sort of change that kind of position one goes up he's listening and Billy's mum's like right there and I think they really nailed that I mean well, you can nail it with the uh, you know if you pull off the pose or whatever but it does remind me of that moment very much always gave me the creeps when I saw it it just just goes to show you how good this is I mean as you move around and the lights hitting it the skin looks all kind of wet and shiny Great paintwork. I love the face. Yeah, it's nice and different. <laughs> He's just doing his own thing, man. Stripe don't care. Um, but it's really different from Stripe's face, you know? Stripe has a kind of different shape uh, around the mouth and chin area. Uh, yeah, the mouth. I don't know. Is it the nose as well? I'm not sure. But something, it's different enough. Certainly, Stripe has his own 
kind of identity going on. So yeah, they are nice and different. They look great together. Yeah, he's just looking at the beer, he's checking it out. He's about to knock that back, pound one down and uh, experience a, a beer for the first time. Yep. Now, I mean, that film is so good. The first one, they're both great. I love Gremlins 1 and 2. But there's so many good scenes in both, but I love it when they're in full take over the town mode and they've taken over the bar. And <laughs> I wonder if they're going to do, or if they've already announced it. I don't know. I vaguely remember seeing some kind of flasher gremlin figure um, picture somewhere. Maybe someone just, you know, made it themselves. But the flasher gremlin with the glasses and the big trench coat, that would be cool. <laughs> or there's so many that would be cool, to be honest. It's kind of hard to just choose a couple, but. Oh man, absolutely awesome. But yep, yeah, it's just checking out that beer. So when I reviewed the Striped Gremlin, I did a little height comparison with the Hot Toys Deadpool here, just so you could see. So I'll do that again briefly now with the regular Gremlin. So that's the Hot Toys Deadpool. Just to give you an idea of the, uh, the size. You go ahead and behave yourself, Gremlin, stand up. There we go. So it's not too bad. The Gremlin's bigger than it should be for one six scale, but I don't know exactly what scale Nick and we're going for with the Gremlin. Uh, it's certainly not in scale with their other, you know, kind of seven inch horror figures like Freddy, Jason, Myers, stuff like that. Um, so yeah, but it works. It kind of works for the one six scale figures as a little companion. It may not be 100% accurate, but it doesn't jump out with me too you know, intensely is something visually wrong. It looks uh, looks just fine. Yeah, and great posability in this thing. He's just raising his arm up. Uh, you know, starting a toast to uh, to Stripe, I'm sure. He's probably being forced into it, actually, from the looks of things. Uh, so a forced, not very genuine toast coming up here uh, to Stripe. And uh, his... Very fair and um, very strict regime that we all must follow uh, under penalty of death. Please help me. Good to stripe. He's a good lad. He's good. All right, guys, I'm going to wrap up the review because apart from the head sculpt, I'm pretty sure the body and the design, the paint scheme and all that is very similar to stripe. So I've already put him on a rotating base and shown you all the detail from head to toe close up on stripe. So if you want to see the body more in depth, definitely check out the Stripe review. No point in me doing it twice here. Um, I would give this figure a 9 out of 10. Um, no reason not to give it a 10 out of 10, really. I mean, apart from my little uh, paint mishap on the leg there, but that doesn't really bother me. It's something I can easily fix. Uh, i give him a 9 out of 10. I think he's an absolutely awesome and essential piece made by NECA, who have done a fantastic job here. Really am blown away and very happy to have him. And again, like I said with the Stripe video, uh, if you're on the fence about picking one of these up, definitely just grab one, get it done, and you will not regret it. And you'll probably want more, but there you go. That's how they get you. <laughs> All right. Let me know your thoughts in the comments section. Subscribe, hit the bell icon so you don't miss out on content. You'll get emails when I upload my videos so you don't miss out. Check me out on Facebook, Instagram at dnight free free free. You can click on the link underneath the video and check out my Patreon if you wish to help support the channel, help me pump out those reviews nice and, you know, in a timely and detailed manner, as I tend to do. Appreciate your support, folks. I hope you enjoyed the video. There will be more action coming at you real soon. I'm going to work on a little Gremlins pose session for you. See you real soon. Take it easy. Bye-bye. Don't worry, I'll look after Gizmo. He'll be fine. <laughs>